video on should you buy a NOCO Boost. Now this one is a GBX 155. This is supposedly the big one, 4,250 4, amps. And do you know what? They have the place. The only thing I can say if you're gonna buy one of these, if you're a private member, you've got cars in your garage, you've got a few in your collection and you have to start them and they run, you hit the key and they burst into life. This is a good bit of kit, it's light, you can run, walk around with it rather than one of these big heavy boost packs. So they do have a place, gotta be honest. In a garage where you get a car that won't start, you're having to crank it over, see if it can throw a fault code, check in a fuel pressure or something like that. No good at all, they don't have the staying power. The good, basically, it's like a defibrillator. You know where you give it a quick bang and the, and the patient's back in, into life? That's what it's about. Um, long term, if you've got to crank cars over, or if you've got to run, it, you know you've got one of them starting faults, and you have to just check. Just not not the job. So get a bigger boost pack if you're going to do that. They're all right, but you need both. But uh, thanks for watching. Sorry, Noco, but that's the that's the truth about your product.